Yeah. All right. So how how's everybody doing? Are we recording? Yes, we are. We are rolling video. All right. I just had to make sure. So we got a question. Not gonna mention the guy's name. Um. One thing I'm gonna mention is I'm gonna start filming more videos on my uh, D3200 Nikon, so that way I can work more on my cinematic quality with this bad baby right here. Um, so I'll try to. Not necessarily because I want the higher quality quality video. I think the Canon delivery is really good. But it's just like I want to get more practice with this camera. Because this is what I'm going to be using on the big projects. So like I want to practice uh, my potential with this. But uh, not the point. Uh, question we have today is um, from a guy. He says, basically I like this girl and try so hard. And put so much effort in. And I don't know whether I'm getting anywhere. Any advice? So. I totally get where you're coming from on this, um, where, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, your investment with this woman is actually going well, right? Like, you and this woman have been spending some time together, things are going really well, you want to make sure that you are in a good position with her, you know, like, things actually going along, you're not just being, um, you're not just giving yourself for nothing, I totally understand, you want to know that security. This could, this actually might be a really short answer, so I'm gonna just give it to you. Um, because I relate to you a fuck ton of ways. You don't want to feel like you're wasting your time, you don't want to feel like you're giving yourself to this woman and spending your time with her just for her, just for you to really find out like she, she's not into you like that, you're not the guy for her, maybe she's thinking about somebody else, you know, all kinds of bullshit that could go wrong. So, you want, you want to know now, like, should I? He, it's all, all really what you're trying to ask me is like you know should I or should I not keep going? Um, there's and here's the thing though, and this is kind of the problem with the question. I can't gauge that for you because I don't know this chick. I don't know what she's. Um, I don't know how she shows her affection because you know there's common signs like yes you know like is she getting closer to you know like. Is she starting to touch you a lot? Is she making more eye contact? Is she trying to get to know you more? Is she, you know, are y'all, is she going out of her way to actively involve you in her life more, you know? There's, there's common signs, yes, you know, I mean, you could fucking look them up on YouTube everywhere and all that. But I mean, even beyond that, because, you know, not all girls show affection the same way. So I can't designate specifically for your woman what she's doing. What I think you gotta do is not to get so caught up in whether you should be spending time loving this woman or, de you know, giving yourself to this girl and just give yourself to her. Like, just be in it just to be in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like again, I know you don't want to be wasting your time. I totally get it. But I feel like you've got to determine for yourself... What does affection mean to the chick? And you can even find out just by asking her, you know, like, you know, like, what are, how, how would you show a guy affection or some shit like that? I don't know. Or, like, try and find out, try and notice, like, how her behavior may change, you know, in, you know, because, I mean, there's the way she's going to treat friends and then there's the way she's going to treat you. And... Honestly, I feel like a big indication is to determine whether you actually feel like there's something about you that stands out from everybody else. I feel like that's a big one there. Um, but I'm not going to cement that. This, this is what I think you got to do. I think you just got to focus on being in the journey with her. And I and I feel and I know what it is. Like you want to get with this woman. You want to have her. You want to you want to do some things, right? No, I'm, just I'm not going to take it that far. I mean, maybe, you know, we're all, we're all fucking guys here. Um, but, not the point. I'm not trying to say, like, you're sex crazed or anything. But, you know, you're interested in this woman. You want to have something with her. And what I'm going to offer you is this idea. And take it or leave it. I'll give you this. I'll give you two things. One, you can continue to pay attention to the way she's treating you in comparison to other people, I feel like that might hinder you actually because if you start trying to base yourself around comparison to other people, that's going to be a problem. But I want you to come from a standpoint of 
has the dynamic shifted between me and her? And do I feel like her interest has grown for me? Or do I... Because, like, you should be able to tell. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like, for the most part, you should be able to know when I want. But, again, you might be really young. You might have not had much experience with women actually... Um, giving you that type of attention so you're not really that aware of whether you know she's into you or not and all that la da 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 so the second op option probably is going to be your best but if you want to stick with number one here i'll give you this just pay attention to how the relationship between you and you guys develops is she trying to get more involved into your personal life is she opening up more to you you know is she trying to get closer to you not only in an emotional but in a physical sense as well right is she trying to actively spend more time with you is this woman going after you the same way that you're going after her that's what i would uh actually yeah that's that's what i would do is this woman putting the effort down that you want her to be giving you you know what i feel you know what i'm saying like Lay it down for her, you know, like you, you, like you say, you're laying it down, you giving yourself, you dedicating, I want to see how long I've been recording for, you say, you, like I said, you say you've been laying it down, you've been dedicating it, you've been serious about it, you've been putting in effort, do you feel like you're getting that back from her, and do you feel like it's actually, honestly, don't lie to yourself and try and give yourself a reason, you know, be brutally honest, do I feel like this woman is truly dedicating herself to me in a sense? Do I feel like she's really reciprocating back at me, back to me when I am to her? Are things mutual or am I just pouring myself into her? And I get that, that you know, you want to know, well, how do I know? This is how you know whether she's doing the same for you, right? If you're showing your forms of affection, she'll be showing you her forms of affection. And you'll know because it'll feel like it. You will feel that affection. You will resonate with it. Even if it's not the ultimate form that you want, you will be able to recognize and see and feel that energy that she is giving that to you. And if you know how to receive that, then you will know that she's definitely giving some and she's reciprocating it. But if you don't feel like she's reciprocating it, then yeah, it might be time to wean off if the case is that you don't want to uh, waste time with this woman. So that that's what I would do. Um, just notice, is this, is this reciproc, is, is it reciprocal or is it mutual, you know? Um, you know, I, I, like I said, again, you're in mad love and I'm going to do a follow up to it because I, I don't want to make this video too long I kind of want to keep this short as its own title and then another one short as its own title um, two videos in a row yeah Deter yeah spend more time with her keep doing what you're doing dude keep doing what you're doing keep dedicating yourself and see if it returns back to you and if it doesn't you have your answer um, you know if it's not going anywhere and pay it and and you should you won't even have to pay attention to this you'll know is she giving it to another guy more than she's giving it to you you'll know that shit off the bat because it, it's, it's going to be a it's going to be a fire off in your head because there's a difference from feeling that there's a difference in the way jealousy works you know there's the jealousy where we just have that protective where we want to where we have that protective aura over a woman versus that um, there's another feeling, right? There's the natural tendency where guy comes up, he hugs my girl, and it's kind of like, you or you know, he says, "Hey, we might start to kind of put that protective aura over her in a sense, just by energy, you know." And we feel that anger a bit on him, but not not like we want to kill him or anything, but just we feel like, "Hey, you know, make sure you know your boundaries, kid." And there's another type of jealousy that time that kind of tends to tie into it where she her, you can tell her energy is being it, it feels like there's a you know like in in the first example it feels like somebody's trying to intrude her energy and you're protecting it the other it feels like she's giving her energy 
and now you feel like what the fuck and that aura goes to a trap so now it's going to try and trap that woman right rather than recognizing yo that that's a red flag and you know you'll notice these things as you get older with experience it's not something that really has to be too consciously thought on it's just something you kind of become aware of sorry if this is getting too long i just wanted to point that out but um yeah dude notice if she reciprocates the effort you put into her back into you and if you feel like she's really doing that for you then you're making progress and i would say immerse yourself as you've been doing and keep immersing but if you don't want to waste your time with this woman just ask yourself that simple question and give it some time and see and let it develop is this woman going is this not is she going to is she currently and two weeks from now has it changed how do i feel like she is giving more affection or am i lying to myself to pursue something or believing in something that might not actually be there at all it should be mutual it should be back and forth it shouldn't be one over the other it takes two people to hold that shit together and you can't be lifting all the weight otherwise you're setting yourself up for failure well now you're not setting yourself up for failure you're just sticking around for someone who's not willing to work with you on that energetic level um, they're not they're not there with you and that's just them and you gotta recognize that so that's that's it I made the point you get it hopefully that helps you out hopefully you um like what I had to say here tonight and sorry the video was so late hopefully you'll be up to see it tonight and uh, bless up talk to you next time alright let's go